This is David Drake. I'm uh, going to uh, review a short video of uh, trapezoid resection with LRTI uh, using a biotine adhesive screw. Uh, this is our patient. We're marking along the radial border of the uh, first metacarpal using an L-shaped uh, incision. Uh, our uh, entry point uh, and our uh, harvest are, are marked. Uh, usually we'll harvest the flexor carpal radialis tendon approximately 10 centimeters above the proximal wrist crease. Stair step incisions are typically made to remove that tendon. Uh, skin is opened uh, and care is uh, made to not uh, injure the radial sensory uh, branches of the, uh, the nerve. The extensor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis uh, longus are identified and uh, entry is made uh, between these two tendons. Uh, typically, uh, I prefer an, an H flap. In this case, we did a direct uh, uh, incision into the uh, capsule uh, overlying the uh, trapezium. Uh, the deep branch of the radial artery was identified and, and uh, uh, kept out of harm's way with that proximal incision. Here the capsule flaps are developed. Uh, in this situation, we uh, got a quick film to assure ourselves of uh, position. It's not done routinely. Uh, the trapezium is then uh, taken out uh, piecemeal, uh, sometimes using an osteotome, uh, sometimes with a uh, rongeur. Uh, once the trapezium is resected, uh, the flexor carpi radialis is seen at the base of the incision. The stair step incision is made proximally, the flexor carpi radialis is identified. I uh, found it helpful to, uh, to be sure that uh, the entire uh, fibers are freed, uh, both proximally and distally at this point, uh, and it is checked for uh, accuracy. Tenon is harvested and placed uh, uh, into the um, uh, defect created by the uh, trapezial resection. At this point, uh, we will um, place a uh, um, drill hole through the uh, proximal first metacarpal. A, a, either a 2.7 or 3.5 millimeter drill will be used. This is angled. Uh, to uh, exit the uh, first metacarpal on the, um, on the ulnar side. The hole is enlarged and uh, to facilitate passing of the flexocarpal radialis uh, the uh, proximal end is uh, sewn together in a tapered fashion uh, to help prevent fraying of the tendon as it's passed through the bony tunnel. Twenty-four gauge wire is then used to pass uh, through the bony tunnel, uh, capture the uh, suture of the proximal flexor carpi radialis, 
and the tendon had passed uh, through this tunnel, uh, mimicking the ligament reconstruction. Uh, the, this uh, tendon is then fixed using a, a, ten, a 4 by 10 millimeter biotin adhesive screw. Uh, it is done with the uh, thumb and extension. Again, securing the uh, thumb to the uh, second mat carpal. In this case, a temporary retaining uh, C wire was placed uh, from the first to the second mat carpal. Position of the uh, thumb was, was then checked. And the uh, an anchovy was then uh, made using uh, 4 Ticron and rolling the flexor carpal radialis tendon over a clamp. And show is in place into the uh, defect. And the capsular tissues are closed. Skin is enclosed with an opted 4-0 Novafil. And the patient is placed on a thumb spike of splint. 